we did something we got from the West as well that's unusual. That's the fighter poems. And most kingdoms don't do that. Virtually no kingdom does that. Uh, I think it's just the West and just um, us. The fighter poems were originally written in the kingdom of the West. And everyone who fought in the crown tourney got a fighter poem. And some of them were very short. Sometimes it was only four lines or six or eight lines. But it was really a neat thing. And when we were a principality, Miranda Douglas of Shehalia thought that we should have fighter poems at our coronet events. <coughs> and she organized the, uh, uh, the Bardic uh, Consortium. And uh, I was one of the original members of it. And so we started writing fighter poems back in AS 13. We've been writing fighter poems uh, since AS 13. So over 35 years of fighter poems. Some, I've written enough fighter poems that they come very easily. And so sometimes if she's short a poem or two, I'll write second poem, sometimes a third poem. Uh, when, they, when they did the uh, crown tourney a little differently a couple years ago, and we had instead of 25 to 30 fighters, we had 56 fighters, maybe 60 fighters in it. There was some dismay among the uh, the poets that we would never be able to do all this. And I said, we can do this. <laughs> and I think I wrote 12 poems for that book. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was interesting. Uh, my squire went also to the middle, one of my squires. And he trained to start fighter poems for the Kingdom of the Middle. And he tried for like three years. And it just didn't take. So we're unusual in that. When Thoron was in the Kingdom, uh, he and Maritza, Mistress Maritza and Master Thoron, researched poetry and they wrote a book on different styles of poetry. Um, Thoron was very, very uh, prolific in poetry. And if you ever want to hear some of his, his poems would make you cry. Poems he wrote to the queens, you know. And so, again, something to be proud of.